Hello and welcome to the next part of the XCAM tutorial video and this part is again a continuation of the last part because not all possibilities and functions are shown in the last part so here we go okay first I have to load the project tutorial 7 And in the last part, we have learned how to create a frame selection. So simply press the return key and then draw a frame and then, you know, all these objects are selected. And at this point, just a little side note, um, the more objects you have selected, the slower is the reaction of each object. If you move the objects, rotate the objects and so on. And this is also true if you copy all the objects from a selection and during the copy action you will see a small dialog and this dialog shows you a little bit the progress and you have always to wait until the copy action is ready because during this time all the UI elements are deactivated of course and now we copy this selection and the XCAM creates automatically a new selection with all the new objects and as I already said you have to move the objects away from the original objects because if you forget to move the objects so I will set these objects back by pressing E and you press the space bar in this state then you know all the object copies are saved at this position and then you not really can see that there are two different objects then you run in some trouble later because you have a big amount of objects and many of them are duplicates you have every time the possibility to delete all objects of a selection so for example if you create a selection and you copy this selection and then you realize oops there are some objects missing and you know you want to delete these objects then simply press the delete key and then you will see this little dialog hit OK and then you know all objects are deleted and now I will show you the third possibility to create an object selection and this is a brush selection and to start the brush press the key T and then you will see this brush with a green marked area and this area is so to say the detection area so that means if you move this brush near some objects then you can see that the XCAM is detecting these objects and the objects gets a blue bounding box but the objects are not selected in this moment but if you press the left mouse button now then you see the objects are pre-selected now because all the objects have a green bounding box and this way it's easy to select um, some objects and it's the same procedure as with a manual selection so you have to press return now to move these pre-selected uh, objects into a proper selection so press return and then all these objects are selected if you move your mouse press down the left mouse button and move the mouse and you can see that exactly these objects are selected press spacebar to deselect there is also the possibility to deselect already pre-selected objects during the brush is active so start the brush select some objects 
And if you now want to deselect some objects again, then simply press and hold down the left Alt key and press the left mouse button and then move the brush. And then you can see these objects, for example, are deselected now. And to cancel the brush function, simply press the spacebar. So, you know, if you have selected some objects, press return to create a proper selection. But if you want to cancel the function, press the spacebar. There are two basic uh, settings available for this brush. So, if you start the brush, then you can change the size of the detection area. So press and hold down the left shift key and move the mouse wheel. So you can increase or decrease the size of the brush. But it's not a good idea to work with a very large brush because this function needs then too much uh, performance. And the second available setting for this brush is you can change the height. So press and hold down the left control key and then move your mouse wheel up or down. But for this example it makes no sense to change the high as you can see. So I have to press spacebar. But in this example it makes sense to use this function. So for example if you want to select the upper row of all these objects here. Then, you know, with the frame selection you have no chance to select these objects. And you can only select these objects by using the manual selection. So press and hold down the left control key and then, you know, select, 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 select. Yeah, it makes fun to select all these objects. But press space. So, with the brush selection now, you can set the brush to a high that you can only select the objects from the upper row. So, that's a good setting. Then, press down the left mouse button and, you know, move the brush. If you work with the frame or the brush selection, then there is a simple filter function available. So, for example, if you want to select all the fence objects here around, then you have the first possibility to use a manual selection mode, you know. But that's not really a good idea. So press spacebar. And the second way is to use a brush selection. Ah, okay. You can set the brush down to the ground by pressing the end key. Then I think we have to decrease the size a little bit. And then I try to select only the fence objects. That's a little bit faster than the manual selection. But with the filter function, it works much faster. So I think we press the spacebar and use this filter function now. Okay, so if you have no object selected and then you press the return key, you know, then you can select all objects. That's cool. But it's much cooler if you use the filter function. So you want to select only the fence objects, then select one fence object. And if you now press the return key, then the XCAM knows that you only want to select the fence objects. So draw the frame, and now that's cool. And press E to set the objects back. And this filter function works also with the brush selection. So I press space to deselect, then 
select any fence object and now I press T to start the brush selection. Now I can increase the size a little bit and now you can see that only the fence objects are detected and no other object type. So now I draw along the fence, press the return key and I have the same result with this function. With uh, brush selection only you have in addition the possibility to select more than one object for the filter function. And if you want to select the vegetation around the fence, for example, then you have to set the filter to three different object types. So you see this is one type and this and this. So then simply press and hold down the control key, the left control key, and that's the focus. And you know that's the same steps as you want to create a manual selection. So and if you have pre-selected these three different object types, then you press the T key. And now the XCAM knows that you want to select three different object types only. Press return. Now you have only the vegetation selected, but the vegetation contains three different object types. Maybe you have noticed that the performance goes down if you have pre-selected so many objects and that's not good. And for this reason there is an option to switch to another visualization mode, so for the brush selection only. And you have to switch to the settings layer, then select the XCAM settings, it's already selected here, and then go to the MISC entry, also already selected here, and then here you can find the option object marker type. And by default it's the value is set to 1, that means bounding box visualization. And if you set this value to 0, then you have a simple marker visualization. So we can check this. Press T. And now you see it's only a simple marker for each object. Uh, and uh, you know, the performance is a lot better. That's all.